My reading comprehension is on this book called Mr. Wolf's Class Lucky Stars. It starts out as Penny the pig who feeds her snack popcorn to the rats and her friend Margaret asks what she's doing and by the way Margaret's a bunny and so Penny says I'm feeding my snack to the rats and she says they give me a present every time I give them some food and Margaret says do you think they'd like a carrot and Penny says yeah, they probably will. They'll eat anything. And so Margaret gives, puts the carrot on the ground and the rat comes and eats it. And so after that, it's they go into class. And it's called Mr. Wolf's class because Mr. Wolf is the teacher in the class. And they're writing about a personal narrative, which is a a paper about themselves. And he pulls out a sheet of paper that has a bunch of ideas that you can think of. And after a few minutes, they think about it and then they start making a spider web. And they do, I they put idea they have one circle that says what their plan is and then they have the legs of the spider Mom, so it looks like a spider like this and then okay and then they write what they're going to write about like Mom, the, is it? and so Mom, once they okay. start writing three o'clock noah is a bird and he's writing three about o'clock he's he picked a tree story. And Mr. Wolf comes over and asks him, are you making a story about climbing a tree? And he says, no, it's a story about not climbing a tree. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about, but keep it up. And he says, I will. And so, Lola, she's a giraffe. She goes over to, um, to the cat girl and like she said and Lola asks have you ever broken a bone and the cat says I tripped a tooth once does that count like this? and Lola's like I don't know are like teeth this? bones and so after and so Lola asks Mr. Wolf, are teeth bones? And he says, good question. You can use my computer. And then Mr. Wolf goes over to Samson. He's the frog. And that he is, says, he is a frog. Are you having trouble writing? Because he, he has his spider, but he hasn't got anything down. And he says, <laughs> and Samson says, I don't know what to write about. And Mr. Wolf says, you should write nothing down. And he says, why? And he's like, just write it down. And so Samson writes it down and he says, and then Mr. Wolf says, because you wrote nothing down, but you still have something. And so after that day, Margaret is home and she asks her dad if she can go to Samson's house to go with him. On a bike. You see it like this? And he says, make sure you're back before dinner. And so she goes to Samson's house, and Samson still hasn't finished his homework, which is his writing. And his mom says, and he says he's going for a bike ride with Margaret, but his mom says, have you done your homework? And he's like, I'll do it tonight, I promise. And so they go on their bike ride. And Samson says, do you know how to ride a bike? And Margaret says, yes, but I don't have one right now. And so he's like, you can ride my bike. And she says, if, you're, if I'm going to ride your bike, then what bike are you going to ride? He says, I'm going to ride my brother's old bike. And Margaret says, I didn't know you had a brother. And 
Samson says, Alex is in college now. He's 18, and he says he could, I could borrow his bike while he's away. I just, he says, I just need to lower the seat, and I should be fine. So he lowers the seat, and they go on their bike ride. They go on their bike ride. Yeah, you're on the right page. And they're going, they're on, they are riding on the main road. And Samson says, we should, let's go to Chicken Hill. And so they're going to the Chicken, they're going to Chicken Hill. And after they, they get it's, off the main road, Samson says, I'll race you to the bridge. And so they race to the bridge and they tie. That's the bridge. And then they find that's, some apples from the an bridge. apple tree and they throw them in the water. And then Samson thinks and he's like, I know what I'm going to write for my story. And Morgan asks, what is it? And Samson says, I'm going to write what we're doing right now. She's like, what? And he says, our bark ride. I'll call it Zooming Down Chicken Hill. And so Margaret says, we haven't done that part yet. And he's like, what are we waiting for? Let's go. And so they get to Chicken Hill. Once they get to the top. That's the Chicken Hill. Margaret asks, why do they call it Chicken Hill? And Samson says, they call it Chicken Hill because a lot of people chicken out and walk their bikes down. And so as they're going... Margaret goes down first, and Samson thinks, I've never done it on this bike before. And, and once Margaret gets to the bottom, she's like, Samson, come on. And so Samson goes down, and, and then he sees a chicken. That's the chicken. He sees a chicken, and he has to dodge it, and he runs into a, a stump and he falls off his bike. And there's black Margaret's pages. like, I'm going to get help. Yeah, and so, later, he's in the hospital. And his parents are there. And his dad's like, it could have been worse not buckling your helmet. And he's like, and then the, the doctor, whose name is Dr. Cheese, comes in and says, you broke your arm. And he's like, I broke my arm, no! And so Dr. Cheese gives them a cast and they go home. And so when they're, they, he's waking up at, right, uh, he wakes up as his classmates are going to school. Where's the waking up? And they're going, what? when they're going to school, they're math, they're math, and then Mr. Wolf hands them their math pages. There is a way And Lo, And Lo was like, this is addition and subtraction. We learned how to do this in first grade. Okay. And Mr. Wolf says, well, it's good to do reviewing. Okay, and uh, they do their now and and Samson's still at home and he eats his um and he's eating a waffle and then Margaret comes over and says we made a card for you and he all his classmates signed it except Rain because she was in Hawaii and so he reads it and then he wa and then he says he's getting bored and he's and his mom asks him if he's well enough to go back to school and he says no I'm not and so he watches and so his mom's like how about you watch a movie and so he's like okay and so he watches a movie called werewolf zombies take Manhattan and, af and after it's over he says can I watch another one and his mom says no I think you've watched enough and so he says what should I do then? And, he, and his mom says, why don't you work on your homework? And he says, I can barely, I can barely use a spoon and a fork with my left hand. 
I can't do a pencil. But then a few minutes later, he's like, well, I'll never know if I don't try. And so he tries and he's like, I can't do it. And then a few days later, he's like, his mom gets him some ice cream. And while they're eating it, he says, I think I'm going to, I'm well enough to go to school tomorrow. And so he's gonna, he is, he's going, he's gonna go to school, but he's like, I have to finish my homework first. And so he, and then, and then a few days later, he's working on his homework and his teacher, Mr. Wolf, calls his mom and says, and is talking to her while he's making his, he, and then his mom's like, he, he really wanted to make a comic, and so he's doing it right now. And so he writes his comic, and he goes back to school the next day. And then he tells his story, but instead he calls it Crashing Down Chicken Hill. And he tells his story, and it's about he him crashing down and falling and breaking his arm. And so, after that, Penny asks if he can, if she can ask Mr. Wolf if she, she can go to her locker to get something. And Mr. Wolf's like, okay. And so she goes there and to see if the rats left her a present. And they did. It was a wallet full of money. And she comes back in and she's like, Yay, now I'm the center of attention. That's the end of the book.